Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate to you a new package from Sparty. Yes, they release even more packages. This one is called One-Time Passwords. And here's a blog article by Freck, and I will link that in the description below. And the timing of the release of that package is pretty good because recently on Laravel Daily we released a project with Laravel Auth with SMS one-time passwords and I had a separate video about that on this channel but here's the main thing the registration form and then verification with one-time password and I will put the link to that video in the description below but in that project we didn't use any package for OTP storing or extra logic it was just like generate the number and send it manually in controller so I asked my colleague Nerius to create a pull request using that spicy package instead of our own logic and in this video I will show you basically before and after what that package from Spotty allows you to do in a more convenient way. So generally you can look at that package from two sides. First it has one-time password storage and verification mechanism from the backend and then also it ships with live wire component which we did not use in our project but just so you know it does exist in the package. And to use that package for one-time password first of course Composer require that Spotty package so this is the Composer JSON change and I will show you the GitHub changes before and after I left our file so you would get the story. Then of course that package has some configuration and there are a few values but we didn't change anything specifically in migrations. Now we can delete separate fields for one-time password and expiration in the users table and instead the package ships with its own table for one-time passwords in the database and that is probably a generally better practice to have one-time passwords separately so that's the database structure then in the user model you need to add has one-time passwords for user which basically connects your user model to that database table with relationship and now here's the main benefit of that package so we did that manually generating the sms contents with one-time password and sending the notifications we have a separate notification class instead with that package all you do is send one-time password and you don't care what happens inside the package takes care of that for you generates the password stores it in the database and sends the notification and in our case we had to do that in a few places so resend function in the verification page was also shortened to send one-time password and then our notification class which used to be longer extends not just notification but extends that one-time password notification from the package and then we don't need any constructor we don't need to pass the otp all we do is provide the content like like this so this one-time password is already generated for us then the verification procedure which happens after you click verify phone on the screen is also shortened with the package code so instead of manually checking otp code from the users table we call the function called user consume one-time password and then if the result is not okay which is very readable english sentence we throw validation exception Otherwise, we touch verified add, which is also kind of a side tip. Instead of doing these two lines, Eloquent has a method called touch, which just fills the field that you specify with current timestamp. And the final thing that the package suggested to do is to clean one-time passwords every day or whenever you want. In routes console, you can schedule the command, in our case, daily. And the model prune command comes from Laravel. It's not the package command, but you specify the model, which is spidey model, which would clean up that database table daily. So yeah, what do you think about this package? Our usage was just one possible usage for SMS messages, but it doesn't necessarily have to be SMS. In this case, it's email within their live wire component. And again, I will link that tutorial in the description below and you may read more details. Will you use that package or are you using something else currently? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.